Well, we have a surprise for all of you from one spotted cat to another. Seb, high five. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> so we have Tingana on the dam wall and he's taking it very easy at the moment. He's just watching over the back of the dam wall. So thank you to those that did let us know. We were thought that the dam cam was out. So for all of you that did let us know that there was a leopard at the dam, we came to check it out just in case that you were all right and you were so thank you very much for letting us know it's always so nice when you guys do and help us find things there was also alarm calls from a uh, impala further south of us here so we were busy checking that out i don't know if it was from tingana but maybe another leopard is also in the general vicinity so it was a very nice surprise indeed Wendy, you say classic last minute leopard, and yes, well, who else could it be? It could only be one last minute fella, and that is Tingana. And look at him just sprawled out, and he's looking ever so big. Look at the size of his neck and head. He is a monstrous individual, and long tail. He seems as though he hasn't had a meal, though, since we last saw him. It doesn't look like he's full in any way, but he is definitely looking down the drainage as though he can hear something. I wonder if he maybe heard those Impala's alarm calling further down towards the south here because they were calling around central mamba mulawati area which is straight down this riverbed so maybe that's why he's so intent in looking that direction but what a way to finish our afternoon there's nothing better and see seb is just looking down at the infrared to see if there's any sign of anything there that he could potentially be watching but it really is a great way to finish and our leopard luck continues so we didn't have a leopard this morning for the first time since I've been back but we've had a leopard at least this afternoon so our leopard fortunes and our trifectas our cat trifectas carry on the cheetah are inside Juma so we tried again to go around and check when we left the elephants I found their tracks they they came into Juma for sure and I can't find anything going out so maybe tomorrow morning those cheetah will still be around we'll definitely go back and have a look again but at least we've got our rosette spotted individual but he looks as though he's a bit sort of tentative you can see he's watching very carefully he's not as though he's a very sleepy cat at the moment so i wonder what he's seeing i can hear a few sort of noises to the south here i wonder if there isn't some nyala moving around in these tamburti thickets south of the dam see how he's using his ears to listen it makes me think, though, if Tingano is here, Seb said, we, I mean, Seb and I both heard him last night as well, calling. So I wonder if he hasn't been with Tundi the last two days, and that's since we last saw him. He, Because I had tracks for a female and a male leopard in the Mulawati, and I wonder if the two of them haven't been walking around together a bit, and that's why he's listening. Maybe Tundi is not too far away here. Could it be possible that they potentially are mating again? I suppose it is very possible, given that the time is marching forward, and... We know Tandy is already mated with Tingana. I don't think it was a full-on estrus. I think it was a false estrus that she went into just to ensure safety in this particular section as she's moved in. But maybe she's starting to come into a proper estrus again. And we've seen her leaving Tumba for long periods of time now. And so I wonder if this is what they've been up to. The two of them have not been together. Mr. P, you say he seems to be getting quite old. Well, yes, he's aging. He's almost 12 years old now, so he's getting on the older side. We always talk of him Vula as the old boy, but you must remember Tingan is not exactly young these days either, so he is getting older, but it's just his sheer width of his neck. I mean, he's got no chin, or neck, should I say. He's just got one big, thick kind of head that goes into shoulders. He almost looks a little bit sausage-like from that angle. I always say he's like a sausage with four legs, Tingana. So he's, he's aging, his dewlap's getting bigger, but he's still in fine condition and he's a big boy. So a lot of people always say Tingana is not that big, but I can assure you I've seen him next to Anderson and he certainly doesn't disgrace himself. He's not a small individual and he's got big powerful shoulders and he'll certainly put up a massive fight for any male that wants to try and oust him. So there's, I doubt, any chance of a male coming to this area and chasing him away just yet he's still in perfect condition and health so i reckon there's still a good couple of years in tingana as we go his teeth are still in good condition like i say it's going to have to take a really strong young challenger to push out that size male
So, Cindy, Tangana means shy. That's basically what it means. Now, I don't know how we're going to follow him through here. I'm going to try and see if I can get quickly down round onto the other side because he's dropping down into this drainage. And I just need to let the other guys know that are responding quickly. But his name means shy, effectively. Yeah, Ralph and Tom, he's mobile now south into the Mulawati. I don't know if I'm going to be able to follow him. Um, so if you're coming, you need to make your way quickly. But he's going to do a bit of scent marking down there. I'm going to try and just put on a light for Seb so that you can see him a bit better. We are in the infrared just so we can see a little bit clearer what's going on. And as he drifts away... He's just heading towards that Tamburti thicket, exactly where he was watching. And like I say, for us to be able to head in that direction is going to be very difficult. Are you going to lie down there? No. Hmm. Unfortunately, where he is going, there really is very little chance to follow. I can try and just stick with him on the bank, but actually getting into where that is, is a whole nother story. But let's try quickly, Seb. Mr. P, you're wondering if leopards normally die naturally or do they get killed by young challengers? Depends. Um, some die naturally. If males tend to get themselves into trouble and fight and get some sort of injury and that often leads to death. Um, whereas the females a lot of the time die of old age. So case in point is Saleh, she died of old age. There's been a couple others that have also unfortunately succumbed to old age. Let's try and see if we can get here quickly. So remember we had a two track here from when we had a Tumba sighting. So that should take us exactly where Tingana is walking but from there it's going to be quite difficult to follow. Um, where did I go down? Oh no, elephants have closed this all off. Let's try through here, Seb. We're going to have to drop our antenna, so if there's a bit of picture breakup, I do apologize. Okay. There we go, we are through. Let's think just keep it down for now, Seb, yeah. for two seconds while I get down into this area. But he should be somewhere in front of me now. try and get onto that side somewhere. Oh, there he is. So that worked out just fine. He's now lying down again, which is fantastic news. I just want to quickly radio the other guys. Shame, they've been looking for animals all afternoon. Nobody else has seen anything, and it's one of the landowners, and they don't have trackers and things like that, so I just need to quickly get hold of them and just inform them where they are, which I will do once we stop, and you guys can watch our last-minute leopard, Tingana. Are you looking up into the tree? What is there? Is there a carcass here? No, I don't see anything. He's just looking, gazing up into this tree. And I was hoping that there was a carcass. But let me just quickly chat to these guys. Shame, they're trying to get hold of me urgently. Right, so I'm going to get onto the radio. I'm going to try and just quickly let these guys know what's happening and where we are as they make their approach and see if they can get in here because obviously we're coming to the end of our show so at least if we can help them get to this section then they'll be okay but he keeps looking up into this tree i don't see any sign of a carcass i'll keep looking and so while i talk to the guys on the radio let's quickly jump back to scott with his spotted beauties in the mara <laughs> 